What's up guys? So as you can see, I'm in here uh, in the garage today and I'm gonna work on a little project. I wanna make uh, a crate with some rod holders on it that I can put in the back of my kayak so that I can carry more than two rods. My kayak does have the two rod holders on it, but uh, I plan on mounting a trolling motor and using those, so I need some other rod holders. So I've got this clam crate here and I use this, uh, I bought this for ice fishing season. Yeah, I don't know why I bought such a fancy crate, but, and I've got this black tubing. So this is inch and a half tubing. This isn't actually uh, PVC. The Menards that I went to, they were completely sold out of inch and a half PVC. And this was in the same department. I believe it's water pipe. I don't know, it's rated to 100 PSI. Anyway, so I have some inch and a half tubing here. This is a five foot piece. And I think I'm just gonna make four rod holders for this. Uh, uh, so I've got some little screws here quarter 20 screws. So what I need to do is, I guess, measure this crate here. So I can cut out four tubes. I might make them a little bit taller, probably will make them a little bit taller. So I'm gonna cut this into four pieces. I need to drill two holes into each one uh, for mounting. And then I'm gonna cut a groove out so that a rod, the piece on your rod can sit down in there. So this is a big old ugly stick catfish rod and it fits right in there, but I want to cut out a groove here. Touch it on the ceiling. I want to cut out a groove here so that this can sit down in there a little ways. And I'm going to flare these ends out, so I need to use a torch and I'm going to use a glass bottle for that. But it's not just going to be for the kayak. I mean, I can take this thing anywhere. It's not going to be permanently attached. It'll work great for ice fishing season also to go into my little sled. Uh, I could put my ice rods in there and throw my uh, throw my flasher down inside of here or whatever and carry that around instead of having them dangle around or having to carry my big rod case around because that doesn't fit in my tiny sled. But anyways, it'll be useful for more than just the kayak. Uh, so I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to get the saw set up, I guess figure out what measurements I need and get this stuff cut up and get started. So we'll see if we can get this figured out. So the crate is just under 11 inches tall. And I've got five feet. I think I'm gonna cut each one to 12 inches and we'll go from there. You don't have to use a miter saw on a stand like this to cut it. I mean, you can just cut it on your bench with a hacksaw. But I'm a, I feel like if you have the tools, you might as well use them. Almost hit the tripod. Actually, pull this this way. So I don't have any great way to mark this tubing. I'm just going to scribe a line on there every 12 inches. Uh, always be sure to wear eye protection. These are dirty. How's that look? All right, eye protection. I like ear protection also when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna just cut the end off here just to square it up. It's not, uh, it's not straight. So, got a nice flat surface here. Just need to cut the edge of it off. these all right to 12 inches. And I have a piece left over that is 11 inches, 11 and an eighth. I've got my four tubes cut out. I need to uh, clean the ends up a little bit. Just some stuff from cutting. It comes right off. 
but I'll just run a piece of sandpaper over that, smooth that out a little bit on both ends. So you can buy pre-made rod holders, but I figured I'd give it a shot, trying it myself. All right, these are sanded down. Now I need to measure out where I want to place those. Okay, so I'm gonna drill a hole two and a quarter inches down on each end. I'm gonna start with a quarter inch bit. These are quarter 20s. Um, so there'll be a quarter inch hole in there. But out here, I'll probably widen it out a little bit because I'm gonna use that top hole to cut my notch in here. So there'll be a hole and I'll have a notch that comes down to it. So I just have to cut straight lines. Well, I'll probably flare it out on the ends there. It'll look a little nicer. And then the same down here, but it won't get that notch. It'll just be a hole in there. So we'll get these uh, marked up two and a quarter inches from each end, right on this center line that these all have. And we'll get the holes drilled. And we've got a straight hole all the way through. So now I just need to repeat that twice on every one of these. All right, so I've got the holes drilled in all of these. I need to open up two of these on each side. So to open up the holes on one side of these, I'm gonna use this step bit and that'll start a perfect centered hole and I can step it up as big as I want it. I'm gonna open one side up to seven eighths of an inch. That should work uh, good to slide the rods down into. Looks good to me. I'm gonna open up the opposite side so that these lines that are on here to the inside, you don't see them. It'll look a little nicer that way. Take a little spray. Should be able to hold it and do it. There we go. I'm gonna do this to all of them. Nice big hole right there. Going straight through to our other one. Can you see me through that? All right, got all these holes drilled. So those will mount just like that. Screw in, screw them in. So I need to cut. First, I guess I should probably mold it. I should probably try that. I want to add a flare to the end of this, and then I'm going to cut like that so that the rod can sit down in there. We'll get them bolted on. I need to clean these edges up a little bit, but I can wait. So I'm going to use this to heat it up. Uh, you could use a heat gun. I don't have one. Definitely wants to contract some as soon as we take it off. I'm a little worried if I poured cold water on the glass that it would 
maybe crack it, so I don't want to do that. This is going to take a little while. I only have to do it four times. Only one up, one side needs flares. I'm going to have to cool that guy off for the next one. Too bad. They're all flared all right. Okay, so my next step is gonna be on the top side where this flare is at, I'm gonna to need to cut out this area so that that can stick down in there. And I'm gonna round these edges a little bit. I'll probably just do straight cuts up first and then come back and round them. I'm gonna use like a Dremel style tool for that. Now these are definitely something you want to wear eye protection with because if these things can bust apart pretty easily, you don't want to catch one of those to the face. So I think I can just use a piece of tape to mark a straight line. And it's just about the same width as the, yeah, that'll work. I can put this on there straight. I can just cut the edge of the tape. That'll work great. That'll be my straight lines. I'll just cut along the edge of these tape lines. So I'll get all four of these marked out and then I'll get to cutting. All right, so I've got them all cut down that way. I'm gonna run a piece of sandpaper across these and then I'm gonna kind of figure out how I wanna uh, do that edge there. All right, a little bit of rough sanding done on those. I'm just gonna eyeball them. I think I can handle that. I don't think I need to worry too much about it being perfect. I think I can eyeball it. I'm just trying to round the edges off. All right, I'm gonna give these a little bit better sanding and then we'll get to attaching them. That's pretty close. All right, so I've got all of these guys cleaned up, uh, sanded all right, and I need to drill my holes in here. And just by coincidence, if I drill right here, right in the corner and right here in the corner, it should line up each, each one uh, just fine. So I'm gonna do Two on each side, on opposite sides here. That thing's making a bunch of noise. Get these all started and then I'll go back through and tighten all the bolts down. spare and this is probably not gonna work don't know how well they're gonna fit boom there we go now I might add a little rod leash on here somehow it's probably a good idea it's gonna take me a second to get that kayak off the wall and get it set up somewhere I've still got all of my uh, my ice fishing stuff out here.
bike with it. Not too shabby. I'm gonna bungee this in here. I am gonna need to figure out a better way to secure this in here so it doesn't slide from side to side. But it should work. Now I can stick her out of there. Great. There we go. That works perfect. There we go, it's secure. So, I think you guys can see that. I ran it through two of the holes on the milk crate down there into the seat. It ain't going anywhere. That should be secure in there just fine. Now let's see if I can sit in there and actually grab a rod out of it. Okay. That could reach it just fine. Can reach the tackle boxes in there just fine. Yeah. Can reach things, no problem. So I need to put a little net or a bungee over the top of that. So that if I were to flip it or something, they wouldn't pull out. But this is perfect. Um, I think four rods should be more than enough. Now that these are still open, I have six rod holders, so that should be plenty. Uh, and that should help me out a lot. I can still put my wheels behind here, or I can drop my cooler back there also, so I can still open the cooler up. And uh, I've got some ice in there. That's where I put my catches. So. This is uh, great, I can grab it from either side, so yeah, that will work perfect. Um, I should have made that a long time ago, because only having the two rod holders, I tend to only bring two or maybe three rods, because I'll be using the third one, I'll have the other two here. So now I can bring more pre-rigged rods with me and uh, have the ability to try some different stuff without having to constantly stop and tie on a different bait. So. Perfect, that works great, it turned out pretty well. I'm satisfied with that, guys. So there's how I attached it, just with a bungee on each side of that seat post. And it runs right through those holes there. Keeps it nice and tight. You can see that, I mean, these, I don't know what size cases these are. They're pretty big though, and you got plenty of room to spare. I should maybe get cap nuts for these or just kind of round the edge off, but it should be just fine anyways. And the rods fit right down inside of it. There we go, guys. Uh, really simple little project. Uh, it took me a couple hours this afternoon to get it all finished up, but that was kind of going in blind. I didn't have any kind of measurements or anything to go off of. And typically if I'm doing a project like this, it's because I saw it on YouTube or something and I'm like, well, that'll work well for me and I give it a shot and it's usually got some directions with it, but. It was really simple. Uh, you could add as many rod holders as you wanted on there. I mean, you could potentially put four on each side and four on the back if you wanted to. I mean, you could run them on the front. Um, for right now, for me though, I believe four rod holders is going to be enough. Uh, I may add some in the future and I am gonna add some sort of bungee over the top just to secure those uh, tackle boxes in place. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, this little crate should help me out a lot this summer while I'm out kayak fishing. Um, it'll be nice to be able to have some other rods with me and have them secured and instead of just sitting down there, uh, normally I'll lay them out in between my legs or something and they'll be pushed off the front of the kayak. But 
That's not uh, always ideal because I do have my tackle bag typically right there. But now I can throw my entire backpack back there and not have to worry about it sitting on the bottom of the kayak where it could get wet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you use something like this. If you, I know you can buy some of these things pre-made or if you've made one yourself, uh, how do you uh, secure your rods in there? Do you use some store-bought leashes or did you make one yourself? So. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. We'll get out and do some more kayak fishing here pretty soon and get this thing uh, tested out on the water. So stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.